Good afternoon, Sir Maranan. Today I will be doing my final exam, which is a talking presentation about occupational health. So for the content of my presentation, so first I will be talking about occupational health. Second is I will uh, enumerate the hazards and examples. Third is the health effects and fourth, uh, prevention uh, on those hazards. So first, about occupational health. So the definition is, occupational health refers to the branch of medicine, public health that is concerned with the physical, mental, and social well-being of workers in the workplace. So the goal of the occupational health is, it aims to prevent work-related injuries, illnesses, and disabilities by promoting safe and healthy working conditions, identifying and controlling workplace hazards, and providing education and training to workers and employers. It also involves the management of health and safety in the workplace, including identification and assessment of risk, the development of policies and procedures, and implementation of interventions to protect workers from harm. So for the four types of hazards, we have one, chemical hazards, is any substance that can cause health problem within, when ingested or inhaled. Second, physical hazards, is an agent factor or circumstance that can cause harm with contact. They can be classified as a type of occupational hazard or environmental hazard. Third, ergonomic hazards are physical conditions that may pose a risk of injury to the musculoskeletal system due to poor ergonomics. Fourth, biological hazards or biohazard is a, bio is a biological substance that poses a threat to the health of living organisms, primarily humans. So for the danger of each hazard for chemical, they include toxins, dangerous chemicals, residue of excess chemicals used in processing food products. Uh, so if your facility follows good manufacturing practices, you can prevent chemical hazards. For the physical, it includes ergonomic hazards, radiation, heat and cold stress, vibration hazards, and noise hazards. For the ergonomic, uh, these hazards include awkward or static postures, uh, high, force, high forces, repetitive motion, or short intervals between activities. Fourth, biological, this could include a sample of a microorganism, virus, or toxin that can adversely affect human health. Uh, a, bio, a biohazard could also be a substance harmful to other living beings. Now, for the health effects of each hazard. For the chemical hazard, uh, hazardous chemicals are substances that can cause adverse health effects such as poisoning, breathing problems, skin rashes, allergic reactions, allergic sensitization, cancer, and other health problems from exposure. Examples of hazardous chemicals include paints, drugs, cosmetics, cleaning chemicals, degreasers, and detergents. For the health effects of physical hazards, physical hazards are factors or conditions within the environment that can harm your health. The main factors and conditions associated with physical hazards include body stressing, confined spaces, electricity, heat, highs, heights, noise, and vibrations. So for the health effects of ergonomic, ergonomic risk factors are workplace situations that can cause wear and tear on the body and can cause injury. These include repetition, awkward posture, forceful motion, stationary position, direct pressure, vibration, extreme temperature, noise, and work stress. And now we'll, we'll proceed to the health effects of biological hazards. So biological hazards are ergonomic are organic substance that present a, a threat to the health of health, present a threat to the health of people and other living organisms. Biological hazards include viruses such as what we are experiencing, experiencing, experiencing now, coronavirus or COVID-19, toxins from biological sources, spores, fungi, pathogenic microorganisms, bioactive substances. Uh, for the prevention, preventing work hazard requires a proactive approach and a comprehensive understanding of potential hazards in the workplace. Here are some general steps that can help prevent work hazards. First, identify the hazards. Conduct a thorough risk assessment of the workplace to identify potential hazards. Implement preventive measures once identified. 
take steps to eliminate or control the hazards. Third, train employees. Educate employees on the hazards in the workplace and how to prevent them. Fourth, maintain equipment. Regularly inspect and maintain equipment to ensure it is safe to use. Fifth, monitor the workplace. Monitor the workplace regularly to identify new hazards that may arise. Six, involve employees. Encourage employees to report any safety concerns of hazards they encounter. Overall, preventing work hazards requires a systematic approach and a commitment to maintaining a safe and healthy workplace. So that, that is it for my report. Once again, my name is Nel Ivan Eladina, and this is my final exam, which is a talking presentation. Thank you.